Hello viewers, I welcome you to Padre Okoromi channel. Today we are going to be discussing a lot of topics which is to continue from this series in which I started some days back investing in business with little or no capital. Before I go into the topic for today, I would like to thank all of you who have been subscribing to my YouTube channel. I pray that God continuously bless you. Do not forget also to follow me on my Facebook page and also to subscribe if today is your first time watching this channel. Do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also to before I go further in this in this topic for today, I would also like to also appreciate in a special way Mr. Joseph Adeduro Adegeye who has been a source of inspiration to me, especially as it concerns business, small-scale business. Stay tuned. We continue today with the first business idea for today, refuse collecting or refuse collection. The business of refuse collection can be on a large scale or on a small scale depending on the available capital. Though the government and other parastatas are expected to collect refuse, these organizations are constrained by many factors. The first is the chair size of the population. Second is the vehicle. Third is the accessibility of residential area to standard refuse removal equipment. And finally is the regularity of such refuse removal. As a result, government refuse removal programs are limited to a few locations in urban areas and virtually non-existent in most rural areas. The prospects for refuse removal in rural areas are not bright as long as there are dumping grounds within the reach of inhabitants of these areas. Refuse removal becomes a problem in urban areas which are often far from open spaces where such refuse can be dumped. Hence, in recent times, some people have been able to enter the business of refuse removal and more are still needed in order to keep the environment clean. If you are starting on a small scale, it is better to locate areas where the government or the existing companies are not operating. First approach your chosen areas usually in the evening and discuss your plans in case you want to standardize your dustbins. You could tell your prospective customers that you will supply the dustbins for a free for a fee. There are many rubber dustbin containers. You can charge a little above the cost price from your client. Next, decide on the fee to charge. Ensure that you do not spend more on renting the vehicles and employing labor so that at the end of the day you 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 see that what will be coming at the end of the day your expenses are paid and you have something left if you can purchase an old vehicle such as a pickup your expenses on transportation will be greatly reduced otherwise you will have to rent but this should be no problem as long as you make accurate estimates of what should be your income after payment must have been made for vehicles and labor. Some local government may require you to register with them and they may in fact allocate zones to you. Always look out for government or company bothered vehicles. Their purchase price are usually low and it will not cost much to put them on the road. Since the vehicles will operate within the city, you can be sure that you will be able to monitor their performance in terms of the service to you. For those with access to loans, there are vehicles that are made specifically for refuse removal. However, it is still advisable to use vehicles that may be converted into other uses in case of changes in government policies. So we move over to the second business idea for today, which is photography. 
This is a business you can embark upon either on full time or part time. It could be operated on large or small scale basis. For someone without much capital, it should be done on a part time basis. There are many events that people want to remember and commemorate. These include weddings, birthday, housewarming, workshops, and various other occasions and festivals. In some cases, if you are able to locate celebrants, you can hasten with an album, which in most cases is promptly paid for. In cases where the ceremonies last for a couple of hours, you will be advised to get cameras that can give instant photographs. This will ensure prompt payment for the pictures. Remember to get the concert of people before having your snapshots as some people may refuse to pay. For sharp pictures, what you need is a very good camera. Some characteristics of a good camera are that it must have autofocus, automatic reminder and a flash. These characteristics will enable you to have very sharp pictures. You will also be able to catch important moments which most people admire. Nowadays, digital cameras are the order of the day as many hundreds of pictures can be taken within a very short period. You do not have to know how to develop the pictures, particularly if they are colored ones, except for some cases like passport photographs. People prefer colored photographs. If you want to make it a business, locate one or two processing firm and make firm orders with them. As for discounts and convince them that you will bring regular jobs. You will make extra money if you can persuade your client to enlarge some of the ones you consider beautiful. You must be very smart to make a living from photography. You must be able to locate seminars and workshop days before the event. You can enlist the help of organizers to locate those participants who are likely to stay for a day or two. The main reason for this is that some attend opening ceremonies of seminars and workshops and may not turn up again. If such appear in your photograph, you may never be able to locate them again. You will have lost some money in the circumstance. However, at the end of such workshop, you could assemble the remaining pictures and present them in an album to the organizers for say half of the normal price. As we said earlier, you must think very fast and act quickly to make money from this business. Car washing. Most private car most private cars most private car owners drive and often it is impossible for such owners to wash their cars every day. Every commercial vehicle driver prefers to avail themselves of car wash service where these are available. Some petrol stations have car washing service, but the business that is described here is the one that is operate, operated in convenient places near major roads. For a start, you need constant supply of water, and so most car washing centers are usually situated near running streams. If you have no access to streams, a water tank connected to the public water supply would serve equally well. You also need a raised platform, hose, hose, brushes, and occasionally some polish. If you accumulate some money, you could purchase jet pumps that will quicken the rate at which you can wash cars. Most of the engines used to pump water can easily be operated by anybody and what you need is one assistant if you cannot be there yourself. Remember that your water pump can also do other jobs. You can use it to pump water from wells, then the well diggers want to continue digging and they are prevented from going further by water. When you are not too busy on washing cars, you can employ your engine somewhere else. In most cases, cars are washed for between 500 1000 2000 and if you are quick if you are lucky you could have up to five cars in a day to wash always remember to keep a few items that the car owner may wish to purchase for using their cars such item includes spanner 
engine oil, brake oil, distilled water, fan belt, etc. Before or after washing, help the car owner to check all these items. You may also wish to have a tire gauge to ensure the correctness of the tire pressures. If you are lucky to find a good location and you are able to include some of the other activities mentioned above, you may be earning as much as between 40,000 to 30,000 per month just washing cars. Making decorative pots. Suddenly, many people have become anxious to have some greens around them. Of course, except for rural areas, most urban areas are usually completely built up with no space either for flowers or grasses. As a result, people who now appreciate the need for flowers resort to buying flowers, flower pots from designated areas in the city. The pots are not made by the florists but are purchased from those who traditionally produce pots of various sizes. However, some florists also spend some time to add some design to the pots either by using different colors or providing stands of the florist size and shapes. Usually, the decorative pots can be sold to big departmental stores and to some of the florists who are already in the business. To go into this business, you must first of all scout around to know the sizes people want and how much they are prepared to pay for them. Prices charged will depend on the size of the pots, the decorations on the pots, the size of the stands and the flowers planted. This is a business like many we have discussed so far that you can begin in the comfort of your own house. Keeping surrounding of building clean. Some middle income and high income areas have lawns and flowers that are usually or sometimes difficult to maintain by the resident themselves. Some keep gardeners, but most others we prefer to have some temporary people to take care of these flowers and lawns. If you can loan or rent a lawn mower, you can approach landlords with large lawns with an offer to maintain such lawns for a fee. If there are flowers, you should be able to maintain them also. Maintenance of lawns and flowers is common during the raining season when the grasses and flowers grow very fast. With a lawn mower, you can maintain as many as 100 lawns for at least 7 months of the year. If you charge, for instance, 3,000 Naira per month, you could make as much as 300,000 for just 6 months. You, your expenses will be in, the rent, in, in renting the lawn mower, purchase of petro, petrol and transportation. In actual fact, most landowners pay more than, it, more than 2,000, 3,000 when lawn mowers are used especially with this is combined with the maintenance of flowers. In two years, you should be in a position to own your lawn, lawn mower. Collecting research material. There are many people in the university, research institute, newspaper, magazines, industry, banks, and other commercial organizations who need some information on various aspects of the economy. This information is needed to improve upon performance of industries while some would serve as benchmark information on which further research can be embarked upon. Usually, people who need this information are often either too preoccupied with other problems to seek them out themselves or are sometimes not even competent enough to gather such information. You can approach some of these institutions and individuals and offer to get the relevant information for them, depending on your training. You may be able to collect information on a couple or so many subjects. For instance, a graduate in economics may be able to collect information not only on economics but also on government, sociology, history, education and other social related fields. 
If you start from the university and research institution, you will discover that most of the information you need are in the libraries and the users may be able to give you some references which you make use of while doing the job. In this case, you may need an identity card to operate in private libraries or at least an authorization to do so. You can charge per job or per day depending on the type of materials to be collected. For instance, if it is summarizing a book, you should be able to know how long it will take you to complete the assignment and you charge directly. Some, informations, some information is available in the secondary form in files in ministries, either state or federal. You should be able to get access to this information on behalf of your client. Sometimes it may involve direct collection of data from the field. In this case, you may have to be guided by the prospective user. If the demand for your service increases, you can employ the service of some of your colleagues or some other people whom you could guide. If you realize that the bulk of work put out in some research institute is done by subordinate, then you will know that this business can be very lucrative. If you, if you, can, if you perform it for banks, industries, and commercial organizations. Editorial work. Many people are writing books that are to be published for general use. There is need for the correctness of facts as well as the need for correct presentation of ideas. Various publishing houses have their own style of presentation. Usually, those, those publishing houses will do the later job that is, put the materials in the form in which they want the book to come out. Your assignment may therefore be in content editing or copy editing for correctness of English. In the first case, you must be an expert in that particular discipline in which you seek editorial work. For instance, it may be in statistics, commerce, or mechanical engineering. Usually, the publisher will send such books to one or two experts in the field. Your performance in editing is the first trial, and the promptness with which you do the job will determine whether the publisher will call you again. In some cases, the authors mainly need copy editing for good English, and that can be in any field. As much as possible, do not attempt to edit out the author. This type of editorial work can also be done for students who are writing their MSc or PhD thesis, particularly when some of them are using English as a third language. For instance, students from the Republic of Benin who attended the Badon University for various courses we are made to write their thesis in English, even when their first degree project we are written in French. You could approach such people and charge a fee for putting their written English in scholarly and grammatical shapes. Old People's Home With increasing urbanization and industrialization, many people are leaving their traditional homes to work in distant towns leaving their aged mothers and fathers at home. Some of these old people may not be able to move freely around and sometimes they are extremely lonely. Most of their children who are in cities may not be able to accommodate them in their houses for various reasons. There may be no space, for example. There may be no house help and some may not be able to cope with the behaviors of those old people. Remember what Shakespeare said, an old man is twice a child. Hence, those who are reasonable and sympathetic and appreciative make various alternatives for these old men and women. But even then, the problems of loneliness, medical care, etc. persist and many of such old people may have died just because of lack of care. On the other hand, some people will be willing to pay some money for the upkeep of these old people if they can be kept in a place where they can be catered for. Such old men or women will also enjoy the company of their fellow lodgers in such a place and old people's home. To do this job, you and those who will help you must be prepared to face some hard times at the beginning. You must also have pity for old people. 
if you are starting there may be one or two people who could volunteer apartment for your use free of charge some of these people may have their own old men or women to keep in such places sometimes some unused government houses could be acquired if you can make necessary contact with the appropriate ministries or department if you go further local state or even federal assistance may be forthcoming if you approach the problem seriously and imaginatively for those you accept you must take full particulars of the relatives to be responsible for their welfare while there and you must also register them with a doctor preferably a government doctor so that you can save yourself cost of cost on consultation it is when you start that you realize how many people have been waiting for your kind of service what you need is an advertisement in newspaper and handbills distributed to the numerous churches your charges and profit will depend on your level of management training workshops for various groups of people there is always the need for practicing professionals to be aware of new knowledge and ideas in their various fields in some cases these ideas may not have been published but it is still important to be aware of them in order to increase efficiency in the various disciplines this is where training workshops become useful in fact some organizations are already aware of these workshops and do encourage their employees to avail themselves of the opportunities as they arise. However, many of such institutions may not take the initiative. It is left to you to identify some deficiency areas in some given organization and try to see whether you can remove or at least reduce this deficiency by organizing seminars and workshops which deal with these problems since you will be dealing with many disciplines your business will mainly consist in identifying what type of seminars are necessary and then organizing them the people who are going to conduct the workshop should be those who are vast in the different subject areas you intend to cover in a particular workshop your first assignment is to meet the head of the given institution and say your idea to him or her if he or she accepts, then he or she will ask you to present a proposal which he will then discuss with you. If you intend to concentrate on only one establishment, say so. If you want to involve others, also indicate this. In the latter case, you may want to invite, say, agricultural loan officers from banks if, for instance, the workshop is on some aspect of agriculture. One bank can sponsor the workshop and send as many as many send as many participants as it likes. You can then charge fees from other participants. The length of the workshop as well as fee charge will determine how many people will attend the workshop. For most workshops, three to four days should be enough. If you can cover a little ground, call it stage one. In another year or so, you can organize stage two and so on. Your income will come from various sources, from fee paid by participants after lecturers fees have been paid, coordinators fees, giant gains from entertainment or exhibitions, etc, etc. What you need in this business is just one successful workshop to your credit and in a year you may succeed in organizing as many as five workshops. Since each will last for less than a week and assuming that you spend three weeks to organize one workshop you will spend less than six months of the year on such workshop even if you make a net profit of say hundred thousand euro per workshop you could have made about close to five hundred thousand naira in six months definitely it is a business worth thinking about Organizing tour. There was a situation when a student living about 150 km from Ibadan first came to the city to take the entrance examination to the University of Ibadan. Years before, however, he had visited many towns in the eastern state of the country. He had participated in a tour organized by a school 
which had lasted a week. Tours are necessary for relaxation as well as for education purposes. Secondary schools, university undergraduates, etc., etc., organize specific tours to places of educational interest. These are not the only categories of people who enjoy tours. There are many in the society who will wish to visit important places far away from their homes if they can have well organized tours. There are warm springs, waterfall, lakes, dams, and game reserve which people will be willing to visit either on a daily return basis or for a couple of days or even longer. Your duty is to identify such people who are interested and try to get enough of them willing to go on the tour at the same time. Once this is done, you must be able to determine whether their interest, where their interests lie and how many can be accommodated on each tour. First, knowing the number of interested people will help you decide on the number of things. First, the size of the vehicle to be used. Second, the fee to charge and third, the arrangement to make with people or places to visit. In most cases, you have to rent vehicles and it is usually per day or week. You can make a rough estimate and charge a little for your commission. Always make your charge a package except if you have decided that people should have pack lunch. Otherwise, the fee charge should include transport, gate fee if any, accommodation, when necessary and meals. Your commission can come from all these sources. If you are smart, you can also encourage a photographer to accompany your group and it can make handsome money from people who want to remember a certain occasion. You can also benefit from such activities. Just like in, some, in most businesses, unsuccessful tour is enough to ensure your stay in business throughout the year. music lessons everyone excluding of course the deaf loves one type of music or the other many people would like to be able to play the piano the organ the flute the mouth organ etc etc most of such people may want to learn music for pleasure there are others however who want to take examination in music and they also want to take advantage of music lessons to enhance their chances of success in the examination. If you are gifted and you have competence in music, you can be in real business throughout the year. Some parents who wish they had learned some music are anxious to send their children for such music classes. Some who have organs or pianos at home often employ music teacher to come home to teach the children. Those music teachers who are willing always take permission to make use of the pianos or organs in their schools to teach private students after school hours. After school hours. So most book, most bookshops do not have music books or even notebook. You may be able to prepare music notebook which you then sell to your student at some reduced rates or at some small margin to yourself. In all, you need little or no capital to start a music lesson, yet the potential exists for making quite decent living from it. Language lessons. Most educated people would rather they could speak a word language other than official one used in the country. For instance, English language in the western parts of Africa and also French language in the francophone parts of Africa. They both need this to be able to communicate and trade with each other. Though trade, social and political relations can exist even when languages are different. There is an enormous advantage if two people are able to communicate with each other in the same language. There are very few perfect translations of people's ideas. There was an international conference in which a Frenchman who was also versed in English decided to speak French, allowing somebody to translate into English. Midway through the paper, the Frenchman suddenly abandoned his French and changed to English because his, trans because his, his translator was 
misinterpreting him so badly. The demand for these language lessons exists among people with international connections and engagement. Even when simultaneous translations are done at workshops in French, English or German, many participants still want to discuss after leaving the seminar room. Here then is the opportunity for you if you have the flair for languages, particularly the international ones. Apart from adults, there are young people at the secondary school level who wish to improve on the foreign language they are taught at school. What you need to do is to let people know that you have the competence in a particular language and since you can get more money from businessmen, you can offer to come and teach them in their houses. For a businessman who wants to be able to speak some rudiment of French within three to six months, you may charge him as much as 200000 for your fee alone. You can also help him purchase some learning aids from which you can also charge some little commission. If you can locate only 10 such business in one year, you will be netting as much as 2 million per annum. If you have free time, you may have to accompany some of your clients to places where they have to make negotiation. As for the regular ones, for the students who want additional coaching, they are not different from ordinary lessons and you can charge per hour up and operate from your house. Translation. Some businessmen do not worry about learning any particular foreign language, yet they may have documents which are written in these foreign languages. They therefore require the service of competent people to translate these documents into English or French as the case may be. Apart from that, there may be agreement to be drawn and they need to be written in one or two languages as the cases may be. The language translator also does this for a fee. Companies, embassies, banks also have documents that they need to translate from time to time. If you have the competence, all you need is to run around and sell yourself. A small complimentary card is all you need and you're already in business. You can always combine this with other business. Driving school. Many people want to know how to drive, especially those who are hoping to buy their own car one day. Some others wish to know how to drive because they believe they can always get a car to drive if they know how to drive. There are, there are finally those who want to turn professional and so acquire thorough training before they can pass their driving test. In the past, there were people who could be glad to offer to teach you how to drive in their own cars. However, nowadays, because of the high cost of vehicle, petrol and other maintenance costs, most people treat their cars with great care. Learners are always hard on the clutch and many car owners know that this thing costs a lot of money to replace. Hence, most people tend to drive in school. Of course, individuals still get trained by their friends, but the number is decreasing. For instance, a husband will teach his wife to drive particularly if they own just one car between them. If they have an old car, you can start a driving school. It is better to train each prospective driver for only one hour a day, in which case between 3.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. you will have trained as many as four people. Charges per hour may range between 3,000 to 5,000. Most driving schools insist on certain prescribed number of hours before a learner can be adjudged to have perfected his driving. You should, aim at, you should aim at teaching your student very well rather than letting them spend longer hours because you want to collect more money. You should test each student and ensure that he should be able to pass the official driving test without too many trouble. He must, of course, be very conversant with the highway code. You can, in fact, give driving certificates. If you want to be in business, you should help your students to obtain his or learner's permits and accompany him or her to the testing ground. If your student performs very well each time and the testing officer knows that 
they are from your school subsequent people from your school will have to fear with we have no fear with the testing officer the best places to advertise your school are the university polytechnic school of nursing banks and other places where there are prospect of owning or driving cars it can be a paying business if you organize yourself very well publishers representative you can make a fortune as a publisher's representative and this is very simple almost every year new books are published for all levels of the educational system at present the market is widest in the secondary school stage anybody who intends to make money from publishing or being a publisher representative we do well to concentrate on secondary schools and some primary schools at the end of a session teachers of various subjects are asked to suggest list of books to be used in the following session the teacher can only recommend those that they know once you know this your job is simple get in touch with schools well in advance of the end of session and go with a few copies of the book you intend to introduce if there are new editions of old books so much the better if possible go with complementary copies if you succeed in getting two books adopted in about 10 or more schools you're already in real business of course before this venture you must have made firm arrangements with publishers to ensure regular supply of such textbooks when books are supplied to bookshops these bookshops take 20% of the published price of such book. That is, if the recommended retail price is 1000 for instance, then the bookshop's commission is 200 naira. Now, as a publisher representative, you are also entitled to the 20% discount. But because of your desire to sell more copies, you can forgo 5% to the student and even about 5% to the school that recommends the titles. In that case, the books can be sold to students at 950 Naira while the secondary while the school takes 50 Naira. And you can take 100. So lucrative is this business that the school was able to build its library of 40 feet by 100 feet entirely from such commissions, which the school received for two years. The building was estimated to have cost about 250,000 Naira at that time. This means that the school's commission amounted to over 120,000 per annum. By a calculation thus, the actual representative would have earned 250,000 Naira in a year without investing a couple. To do this job successfully, you must set about it early so that your publisher's textbooks can be on the general book list and that is all. Clearing and forwarding If you live by a seaport, clearing and forwarding is a business you can do without investing a cobble. However, as the size of the business increases, you may need some short-term loans or overdraft to keep customers pay a certain bills which you later claim. At the beginning, what you need is a license to operate as a clearing agent. If today is your first time on my channel, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adriel Kurumi channel. God bless you.